My full name is Dillis Burgess Ward III, from my pioneer, pioneer family here in town. My family uh, came across the plains in 1853 in a covered wagon, settled in the uh, Oregon, Nor Oregon Territory at that time. And they came into Seattle in uh, 1861. There were 100 people living in Seattle at that time. And they homesteaded where the Olympic Hotel now sits. And uh, my great grandfather was <coughs> Dillis Burgess Ward, the first Dick Ward, and he helped start the University of Washington. And uh, he had uh, one son and five daughters. And my grandfather was C.C. Ward, who was from the first graduating class of the University of Washington, civil engineer and surveyor. And he, he, he along with uh, Cliff Mar Marvin Chase, my great uncle, and W.C. Clark, put the High Line Canal into Wenatchee. And he put the water system into the Manson and the uh, High Line, the water line across the old steel bridge that's down here, which we have pictures of. So, and then they went on to uh, uh, California, Montana, putting in water, water systems from all over the country. So they were quite prominent. In C Seattle, uh, my, uh, one of my great aunts, uh, if anybody's from the University of Washington, married Edmund S. Meany, who, who was my great uncle. And, uh, Meany Hall and a uh, named after Ed, and uh, one of my other great aunts married a Dickey, and uh, they were explorers up in the Alaska, or Canada, and, the, and uh, named, uh, named one of the mountains up there. So we've been in the country ever since uh, 1853, and my, my great-grandfather wrote a book uh, before he passed on, and I have the original copy of that. <coughs> of their trip across the plains in 1853. So, very pleased to be uh, alumni of Wenatchee Valley College, Knights. When I went, it was Wenatchee Junior College. And it was housed in the old high school building here in Wenatchee, up on King and Idaho Streets, way back when. <laughs> I was born and raised in Manson, Washington, and uh, born in 1925. It was quite a little village at that time. I was born in my grandmother's house. I, my mother told me I was born on a dining table. There was no hospital, no clinics or nothing then in those days. But I went through my uh, junior year in high school there. We were ranchers, had 100 acres of an orchard with apples and cherries. And I came to Wenatchee in 1942 for my senior year in high school mainly to live with my grandparents, the C.C. Wards, who lived across the street from the old high school at that time. So I uh, graduated in 40, June of 43. Graduation, I joined the Navy because uh, I did not want to be drafted. But I was, had been a competitive swimmer and diver when I was a kid, so I thought, well, maybe it was a place for me. So, so then I uh, went on to boot camp at uh, Ferry of Idaho. Camp Ward, of all things, <laughs> and uh, they found out I could swim, and so uh, my job at the boot camp was teaching swimming and playing in the jazz band. So that was my boot camp experiences. And then they, uh, when we got out of boot camp, I, we, they were transferred to Clearfield, Utah for just a waiting period, and then we came to the Pacific coast near Vancouver and uh, where we commissioned our ship, the USS Shamrock Bay, which was a converted escort carrier. A lot of those carriers were small and they did escort work, but uh, we made, uh, from there we uh, went down the coast to the Panama Canal to Norfolk, picked up a load of beautiful black F-48 fighters and hauled them to Casablanca for the French. Made two trips doing that. Uh, both trips dropping a few depth bombs, bombs on the uh, charges on the German subs. And uh, on our second trip back, they took us into New York for a little R and R, and uh, so we we had a good time there for a week, as, as sailors normally do. <laughs> and then we came back through the canal and uh, 
to Norfolk, picked up our squadron, trained the squadron there, and then headed to the Pacific. And our first major uh, area where we went was uh, Iwo Jima, and that was something else. And uh, my friend and I, uh, Dwayne Hatch and I, were aircraft c controlmen. We were clear on top of the, the ship above the bridge in a 42-inch diameter platform with a gyro compass and, and uh, radio with our, we'd spot the kamikazes and tell them to go get them. And, and uh, of course we, our fighter planes and uh, torpedo bombers were, cleared the, uh, had hopefully bombed the island before any of the first Marines first landed and the Army boys first landed on Evo. But it was a big death trap for, for everybody. And, uh, Photographer Rosendahl came aboard my ship, and, and uh, uh, I could start the next big operation was Okinawa, and there again it was uh, it was very bad for kamikazes, Japanese Navy, and uh, we went into Lady in Luzon. We pulled into Karamareto for. Uh, after we had uh, taken Okinawa to get uh, uh, supplies and ammunition. Just as we backed out, the ship next to us got hit with kamikaze and blew it up. And then from there we went on to the Philippine Sea where we helped uh, sink the last part of the southern part of the Japanese Navy. And we got out into the uh, that Japanese Sea. At, uh, one night we had to pull clear away from the fleet, turn on our uh, lights and taking the planes from one of our other carriers that had been hit. And we'd pull the, the boys that come in and land on the land. We'd get the pilot out of the plane and his camera and push the plane over his side just so we could get save all the pilots and their, and their films, which we, we certainly wanted to. The other part of our fleet went north and from, from there, from Okinawa, and sunk the rest, northern part of the Japanese fleet. So. Then later on, why then we we went on into Japan after that, and uh, and the Missouri we operated with Missouri all through the war, and the Missouri pulled in there, and that's when they, they signed the treaty and, uh, with, with the Japanese. So. This is a picture of uh, raising a finger on Iwo Jima. Uh, the, uh, prepared photographers Rosendahl, which we have I have articles in my album, but this is the second print of raising the flag on Iwo Jima. He came aboard my ship in, in the bay at Iwo Jima to develop this print, this picture. And the photo lab was right next to my quarters, so I asked him if I may have that first print. He says, no, Dick, but you can have this second print. I never had him sign it, being a dumb sailor, <laughs> but I just proud as punch to have it. For years and years, I never had a copy made of it. And I finally went to the Fred Myers and uh, asked them to print this. And they said, we can't. This is U.S. government per personal property on the back of it. I said, look how old this is. <laughs> they did it. And they were thrilled to death to see that picture. And they even yelled at people, come and look what I got here. So, but the first print, I had a large one made for my uh, American Legion Club, had it framed, and uh, with a description of what it was and why. And, all the, the story of the whole thing. And uh, I'm first vice president of the American Legion. I'm proud of hanging there, and they're proud to have it. Well, important, but for what I went through uh, for years, I I didn't talk about it. You know, when, when you see one of your best buddies down below, you're getting cut in two with a prop of an airplane that he, he landed and then went over to the gun spots and where he was. And, and uh, we had several burials at sea because of accidents like that. You don't forget those kind of things, you know. So we were in the thick of it, but uh, I'm glad we did what we did. And, and uh, you know, sorry, we somebody lost so many people on on Iwo and Okinawa both. And uh, well, yeah, that wasn't good. People have get to hear stories like, are you? Recording? Yeah. But now, no matter where I go, they stop and thank you. I want to shake your hand? Makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah.
the college wasn't that active in the days when we came back. You know, we were we were a small group, and most of us were the same age. And when we came back, and of course, I enjoyed it. And uh, the reason I started Wenatchee Valley College was again because my grandparents were living by it, and they needed somebody to live with them. And uh, so we had a wonderful two years there. We didn't have any sports that we had entered into. Or, and I don't remember that we even had our jazz band that, like I had when I went to boot camp and I played jazz. <laughs> One of my buddies that went to, I went to high school with, was, uh, he was a trumpet player, so we played trumpet together in high school also. And, and he went on and kept his going, but I did not. So, <laughs> Junior college yearbook, like I said, it was the uh, eighth commencement when that when my class the class graduated. And this is our program from our uh, graduation night for the class of 1948. Mainly to live with my grandparents, help them out. It was a good start after coming from World War II and uh, get myself settled a little bit. After uh, graduating, my second year when that was junior college, I met a good-looking redhead. We got married, and then we uh, moved on to Cheney, uh, mainly because we were uh, waiting for housing and employment for married students. And we were in Cheney for two quarters, and then we moved on to Pullman. And, and then we were there until we finished. We, at that time we were there, our first child was born, that was Marsha. When I decided to go to uh, Pullman, my grandmother, Ward, was very upset because my great-grandfather, Dillis Ward the I, helped start the University of Washington. She felt sure I should go there and keep the name up. But I was majoring in horticulture, and that was not or offered at the University of Washington. That's the, so she, uh, she finally conceded that I, I could go to Pullman. So. <laughs> and then after we, we graduated, and Moved back to Wenatchee in 1951. Went on up to Manson to run the orchards. Came back, and uh, I worked for uh, Al the Aluminum Company of America for eight years. At that time, they wanted to sh ship us back east, and my wife says, "No, we're not moving back east." So I quit and uh, bought into what was Wenatchee Paint and Glass, a store where we dealt, dealt with uh, contractors commercial, residential, and I was there for 30-some years.